Hey everyone, I'm Deb and today I'm going to troubleshoot the problems you have with data not transferring over. I've had many people ask me or show me their sheets and their problems are quite similar, so I'm going to show you them right now. I'm going to run through these issues. Typos in your category name, writing some if instead of some ifs, date is wrong or reversed, the year is wrong, the sheet name is wrong in the formula, or the data is taken out from the wrong column. Let's get started. So I'm in my sheet, I have data input here in my expense list, but when I go to my dashboard, I have some data that's showing up and some that isn't. So let's start with problem one, the most common one. Typos in your category name. If your category name is incorrect, the formula will not be able to read it properly. There's obvious typos like spelling mistakes, but the most common mistake people make is leaving spaces after their category names. The space is often at the end of the category, so you don't realize it's there, but it's enough to screw over your data transfer. So for example, bills with a space versus bills with no space. So right now we have our bills, which doesn't have any data in it, even though if we go to our expenses list, we have put in an amount of $10 and the date appears to be right, nothing wrong with it. We go back to our monthly expenses, then we go to bills, the category name, and as you can see, there's a space after bills, so we can just delete it now. And then it shows up. The next problem is having typos in your formula. This is quite common if you're creating your tracker from scratch and you're typing my formula into your own tracker. For example, having some if instead of some ifs, even though these are really similar, they aren't the same and will create an error and the data won't transfer. To guarantee these things don't happen, make sure you copy the formula exactly from my tracker. So for subscriptions, what we've got here is an error. It says wrong number of arguments to some if, expected between two and three arguments, but got seven arguments. So what it's telling me is that some if does work, but not for our formula because our formula has a lot of criteria. So in this case, we need it to be some ifs. So what you do is go to the formula and then just type some ifs and it will show up. Another mistake that is super common is having the wrong date. You have to make sure that the format is correct. In your expense form, it will ask for a date in the form DDMMYYYY or MMDDYYYY. You have to make sure that you do this in the exact format with the same amount of characters. So if you type in 1 slash 2 slash 21, it won't read it properly. You have to type in 0102 2021. Also make sure you have the order of the date and the month correct. For me, since I'm Australian, my format is DDMMYYYY, but for Americans it's MMDDYYYY. It can work sometimes for dates like 1st of January 2021, but if it's the 28th of January then having it in the wrong order means that the data won't transfer or be read because there's no 28th month. In this example we have entertainment that doesn't have anything showing up, and if we go back to our expenses list then as you can see the data looks wrong. And that is because it's in reverse and this is not a real date in the format that we see normally. For me, it's DDMMYYY, so it doesn't make sense for the month to be the 28th. So if I were to reverse it, then it goes back to this format and then it shows up here. And if you wanted to make sure to check if your format is correct, I would go to Files, Spreadsheet Settings, and then make sure that your country is correct. Mine is Australia, so I'm all good. Another mistake is putting in the wrong year. This happens a lot when we switch over to a new year, we forget to type in the new year in our date and aren't able to see our mistake. So your current tracker should be updated for the new year, your month column should have dates for 2021 and not 2020. If it's still in 2020, I have a tutorial on how to update your tracker for the new year, so please check that out if you haven't done that already. If the date is not for the current year, then the data won't transfer. So now we have food and drink, which isn't showing up, even though in our expenses list, we do have it all input here. And the reason why is because we have it set as 2020 instead of 2021. Because if you go back to your monthly expenses, everything in this tracker is set for the year 2021. And if it's a different year, then it won't register. So all we got to do is just go back to our expenses list and change the date to 2021. And then it will show up. Another mistake that happens when people are building their tracker is not putting the right sheet name in the formula. If the sheet name is incorrect, then it won't link. If your sheet name is one word like expenses, your formula should look like this. If your sheet name has more than one word like expense list, your expense name should have quotes around it like this in your formula. 
Once the formula is correctly linked, if you update your sheet name, the formula will automatically update as well, so you don't have to change it every time. So for groceries, we have an error which says argument must be in range, because what's happening here is that our expenses aren't linked to the right sheet. So what we gotta do is just rename everything to expenses list to make sure the data is coming from the right sheet. And because this is two words, you gotta make sure that it's in quotations. And you can tell if it works because it will turn different colors. and then it shows up. The last mistake I'm gonna show you is your formula taking data from the wrong column. This is very common if you're building this all from scratch. The formula is very specific and if it's not reading your expense amount, it won't be able to transfer any data. So when you look at the formula, it's sorting all your data from different columns. I'll put a summary of the formula on screen right now, but if you want a full explanation of how it works, I break it down in my how to build your expense tracker from scratch tutorial, which is linked below. So in this instance, it's trying to take our expense amount from column E when it should be taking it from column D. All you got to do is just change the letters and then the data will show up. And that's it. I hope that was helpful and you're able to solve any data issues you had with your tracker. These mistakes are very sneaky and obvious. That's why often we can't figure them out. If you have any problems, put them in the comments below and I'll see if I can solve it. Otherwise, check out my other tutorials, subscribe to my channel and follow my socials. I'll see you next time. Bye.